Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm a Rough Pebble and I'm going to be checking out some Astronauts, an early access game uh, which is just released. It's a 0.10 build, which is the inventory hauling and management overhaul. It seems really, really cool and there are a lot of other changes to the game as well with this. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out what all is here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and choose a new character. And we are going to be uh, starting in as a fresh recruit um, to a mining or a uh, sort of ship um, breakup team crew. Um, we're going to create a character from which we have to choose some, some sort of like life path. And that's going to be uh, really interesting the way that they do this. This game is developed by um, Blue Bottle Games, who also created Neo Scavenger, so I also recommend checking that game out. But first things first, as Livia Duffy, let's go to the mirror and take a look here. Um, I'm fine with you having... Um, being bald here. You know what? I'm fine with you all around. Let's go. Let's go with it. How old are you? Do I know anything about that? No. None of that. Okay, fine. Alright, Livia Duffy, let's go ahead and go into the next room. And here we can do several things. So one, I can pause the game at any moment, or I can speed it up as, as I want to. For now, we're going to go to right-click on the career kiosk and use that. So, here we approach um the kiosk and they give us a readout of who we are this is our essential uh, essentially our our childhood we grew up on this asteroid we have typical conditions for a young spacer so we're immunosuppressed low bone density all of that we're in, we have insomnia we're feeble these types of things we are we're struggling a little bit our mother and father are jude Edwin Ed Kuhnle, a law enforcement officer, and my mother was a Xiaomei Victoria Bale, a manager. Interesting. Okay. So first things first, let's work on our traits, take a look at those. Um, we are fragile. We are unfit. Is tired more easily. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's also give you or take away physically weaker. Mm hmm. And feeble. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's get rid of feeble then. So we're not weak. We're not strong either. From a cooking accident. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and live fast. You were approached by a coworker who has developed a less than legal method for making cash on the side. Apparently they have been tagging high value salvage as junk in the system for the last six weeks. After the false tag, they leave the part on board the derelict and sell the location to the highest bidder. The scheme always involves the complicity of the breaker doing the final sweep. And totally, and that, today, today that happens to be the piece in question of, is a busted reactor, and you know it will fetch a pretty penny on the black market. It's a big take if you can pull it off, but there are risks. Hmm. Report to. Let's let's report to you. Selfish. A 900 monies. Go straight to the highest level manager. You can find the manager calls in the attached ISEC. Detail and together the three of you hash out the various cul culprits in the scheme. Before you leave the office, the manager hands you something as a gift. It's a limited edition Ayotomiwa hoodie. What a treat. Okay, 900 bucks is nothing to sneeze at. Um, and what is selfish anyways? Selfless. Hmm. Oh, here we go, yes. Serve themselves before others. Unfortunate. But, you know, we could probably get rid of that, too. If we wanted to.
Let's do genius. And then live fast. She's a real beauty, the, dis the Testudo Heavy Lifter 448, and it's with it's with a confusing mix of honor and dismay that you're contracted to take her apart. On day four of the break, you're welding through the, a wall component when something catches your eye. You snap off the torch and take a closer look. Your breath catches at the site, the Miura Intake Regulator, the apex of the defunct company's technical achievements, today one of the rarest aftermarket parts in the game. Bribe your boss and split the profits. An industrial accident, skilled and oligarch etiquette, and 750 in rewards. Okay, I'll take it. So, the middle management knows which way the solar winds blow. Rim words, unless something has gone terribly wrong. Uncle Ayo doesn't want to know about how it's legendary black markets are running it definitely doesn't want whistleblowers but as ever there's a right away right way and a wrong way to approach a bribe in either case rumors always find a way to get back to the fraud unit of aosec all this runs through your head as you slip your supervisor a credit chip and ask them to take an early launch on you you watch as her eyes glaze over it's clearly something she's had to do many times before just don't fit up don't fuck it up she says brusquely and heads back to the pod Good advice in general, you think, as you fire up the welder, assuming you don't. The part will net you far more than the bribe at the end of the day, and a good haul, even though it will inev inevitably attract a little heat from the authorities. Okay. Um, let's live fast yet again. Go, Jo Dui. Stop what you're doing, mouth dry. So the dozen or so other day workers in the cramped dormitory of silver class apartment in ASC barracks. That's the signal from the next pot over there coming. Outside the door up the access corridor you hear the clatter of mag boots ma marching in double time. A half dozen of your neighbors flee through the back door. Moments later you hear a series of sharp cracks and screams shocking around so that you hope. I'm nothing to hide. Take a pressure alarm. On some stations, hackers are monitored with the same vigilance as states seeking nuclear capabilities back on old Earth. Do they have the technology needed to perform a cyber attack? Do they have the motivation, the skills, the opportunity, the support network? This is a good example of why such precautions exist. So the work of 10, sec 10, 10 seconds to isolate the corridor the AOSX are advancing down is three keystrokes to trigger a vacuum alarm you hear buds as the bulkheads close, trapping them inside. By the time the Sysop can untangle the mess you leave behind, the raid will be neutered by social embarrassment if nothing else. Some of your dorm mates take advantage of the confusion to slip away. Careful to a less policed area of the station if it, such a thing exists in the barracks. Okay. Live fast. Midway through the scrapping, yet another hulk. The cockpit of your allotted salvage pod lights up with red telltale. Suddenly you're under thrust. Troubleshoot the engine. Low healer. Reward 850. Oh, this. It's a known issue with the missing alpha series. You just got to reroute power through the axial breakers to trigger an interrupted request from the thrust control module at the same time as you hit the manufacturer's security keys, and yet, simple. Lucky this happened to you, someone else might have been in serious trouble. Your manager's, manager is impressed you escaped without damaging the rig. In a rare display of generosity, they offer you a bonus on your weekly pay. Nice. Work on traits. Let's be more fit. Let's be less fragile. Let's live fast one more time. Let's go until age 35 and then we'll get a new... A new rig. Start a, a, a new life. You're drinking at the local watering hole after your shift. 
when you see the unicorn. They're the scion of the Iotaniwa executive. Sneaking out to rub shoulders and bump uglies with the common folk. You win as they try to pay for their round and you won. It's dollar for the likes of us, friend. Let's try to hack them. The password offers you no resistance, but as soon as you're in, you find that your movements feel slow. Everything is taking just a little too long. Every door leads to another door. Nothing is where it should be. Risking a glance away from your work, you scan the bar, expecting to catch some white hat grinning back at you. But nobody looks even remotely interested. Where are the hired goons? Aosek wouldn't let a chump like this go without your PDA starting to radiate heat. Shit, 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 shit. Patrons look at Look on as you claw your way into the PDA's battery compartment and pull the cell. You knock drinks over and speed walk towards the exit, your ears burning with embarrassment. In the doorway, you pause for one more look. The fact that the Scion isn't looking your way tells you all you need to know. Time to go home and check your bank account or what's left of it. Oof. We just gained so much money. Okay. Um, and then, yes, work on traits. Ambitious is more determined to succeed. Fit. Brave is more courageous than most. So when I'm a slow healer and immunosuppressed and an insomniac. And selfish. Visually impaired. Let's get rid of that, and now let's seek a ship. Whoa, okay. Ogioso's register has given this vessel an OSR of moderate, indicating that it is legal for sale but does not possess ship systems beyond basic travel. Payment per shift? Mortgage? I think we're at a point in our life where we should go ahead and try to live a legal life. It's, it'll be a six million dollar mortgage. We'll take the ship. You're now the proud owner of a 277A, and you can now reach some of the outer derelicts beyond the watchful lives of the Yardmaster. Maybe with some replacement parts, elbow grease, and a little luck, one of those hulks could be made spaceworthy. Technically, it'll be stealing from the junkyard. Stealing junk, but still stealing. And Harbor Master Adyemi won't like it when he finds out. Okay. Let's go ahead and submit our resume. There are a fair amount of things on the ground here. We'll want to go pick up all of this in just a moment. Um, we have a bottle of rice wine, cigarettes, food... A pressure suit. Okay. Let's go in here. We have 5,000 monies. This is good. Let's go to the supply kiosk here next. Here I want to purchase all the batteries. I want to purchase maybe a crate even. Get a crate. Get a toolbox. Plastic toolbox, maybe so. Um, for now, let's just get a crowbar. Some cigarettes, some pills, a duster. Mm. Not for now. A sweatshirt. Let's get a backpack. Yes. and then get battery chargers here. We'll take a little bit of food. And this drink pouch costs 300. All right, we'll take two of those, a flask. That costs 2,000. We'll maybe come get that later. For now, this seems sufficient, except Okay. 
we'll have to just drag that. Oh, I see. Okay, inventory. That in the crate. This in the crate. In here. Okay, let's do that. Ah, yes. Inventory. And there's the... Okay, I see. And then we'll just drag this. Okay, I love it. Um, put all of this into our inventory here. There are a few things that I feel like we're missing. Auto saving, okay. Put these here. Small pouches. Um, okay. This should probably go in the backpack here. Okay, and then let's... There are a few more things that I think I need. Wait, what is this? What the heck? Where did this come from? Is that not there? Okay, it must not. It's just a, a bug or something, I don't know. Okay, um, I have, let me see, I have the... Inventory. The grinder, the welder, and the iron. Grinder, welder, iron. Grinder, welder, iron. Okay, we need a drill. And anything else? At this point, I think I'm happy with this. We did get a crowbar. Okay, perfect. Accept. Wait, did I not just buy one? Oh yes, it's in our hand. Here we go. Okay, put it in there. Okay, great. And let's go to our ship. Let's launch our ship. And let's do this thing. So, uh, it does take a little bit of uh, time to set up, but I think it's a fun and enjoyable and really interesting um, and interactive way of building your character. Um, so highly recommend checking it out and sort of taking your time with it as well. Pressing launch will end character creation and begin the game. If you want to make any other changes, press cancel. Okay, no, I think I'm happy with this. We're a little bit of a weird character here. With one last look back at the barracks, you've called home all these years. You've stepped through the threshold into the salvage pod. It won't get far on its own, but you know of at least a few derelicts out there in the K-like boneyard that might be candidates for your next ship. Start checking the derelicts out and choose one of them to make your own. Okay, you know what? I think I might end the episode here as sort of the character creation episode and then jump into a uh, sort of gameplay episode because I do think that um, it's important to see how this side of the game, sort of the lead-in aspect works, but some people might not be interested. So uh, just let me know where, where your mind's at with all of that. Um, for now, I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully you're doing well. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe because it really does help me out and it does help build the, um, the the channel as well. And I do get to just sort of have a better feel for what uh, everybody's into and, and what other games might be out there even. Um, see you soon.
Oh boy, we got a little bit of fixing up to do here. <laughs> 